Mike Lee and company were thoroughly upstaged at their own gala screening by an uninvited guest. That's right, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Actress Catherine Cartledge was not deeply impressed. I was in um, hysterics about it, yes, it was very, very funny. But he, he didn't actually um, see the film. He, he took the back exit out. So he just arrived to make an entrance, as it he were? He just arrived to make an entrance and um, apparently left as quickly as he arrived. So um, it would have been interesting if he had seen the film because I, I would have been interested to know what he thought about it. He wouldn't have liked it. It's a serious film about real people. Because what you've taken is a young man, Cunian, who comes down to London. But, I mean, do you want us to think that this is only London, only Manchester like, that is like that? Or is this, this malaise, this kind of moral and, and emotional bankruptcy, is, is, is that to be found anywhere in the so-called civilised world now? Absolutely. It's, I mean, it, it would be quite wrong for this to be described as a, a film about the state of England or the state of Britain or about, and certainly about London and all that. Of course it is on one level about those things, about that, that were our specific uh, territory, our milieu, that's the milieu of the film. But no, it, it certainly is, um, in that sense, universal. Well, it's kind of very bizarre, really, because especially the nature of the film, because of exactly what the film's talking about is, 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 is uh, the fallacy and the, the facade set up in life and the fantasy in life. And here we are, you know, talking about a film which is set in the bleakest parts of London, the bleakest, darkest areas of life, by the Mediterranean, beautiful blue sky, and everyone's very nice to you and, and having a great time, and like a kid in a toy shop, you know, it's just, I, I can't really be very cool about all this, you know. You have ha actually had more retrospectives of your work than you've made films, and yet this is your first time in Cannes. I mean, I, I find that quite astonishing, D don't you? Yes, but it's true. It's nothing to do with me, Governor. I mean, you know, if any of my previous 500 films that have been in uh, 16 films had have been in Cannes, I would have been here too, but they haven't, and here we are, you know. It's very nice to be here. You are enjoying it, though. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. I mean, uh, not least because people seem to be responding pretty positively to the film. And they responded just as positively to Ken Loach's Raining Stones, a sharply funny film about unemployment in the Northwest. You can't make any film that, that reflects the way society is without it having a political point of view or or making judgment about what's happening. You know, the truth is subversive. Now, what about Cannes? This is the, the third time you've been here with the film. Um, how important is it either to be at Cannes or even to win something at Cannes? Um, I think it's very, it's very important to be here with a film that isn't, at first sight, um, middle-of-the-road commercial, because people see it, um, they talk about it, uh, you talk to a journalist from all over, um, and the film then has a presence, and they like it or they don't like it, but at least, at least it's, um, it exists in people's minds. Whereas if it just creeps out in London somewhere, uh, then the thing doesn't have a presence. 